everyone, it is Liam Catterson here with another episode of The Good Place. We are on episode number four of season three. Um, yeah, it's gone down the toilet, you could say, uh, with the fact that Michael is trying to snowplow the group uh, further along rather than have, you know, people uh, leave the group from Eleanor, um, not getting that job and instead winning that jackpot to try to keep Tahani with the group after she met Larry Hemsworth, I think. He was called the Lesser Hemsworth. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it was all falling apart, uh, especially with uh, Eleanor's outburst at the party uh, and the plan for Michael to reset the timeline because that always goes down well, doesn't it? When someone just screws with the timeline. Um, and uh, yeah, it hit rock bottom with the fact that everyone... I guess now knows, or at least will know, because like I said, you can't play off that door as visual effects, so it's going to be very interesting to see what does happen here and how Michael and Janet are going to have to explain themselves, so uh, are they going to be letting on everything? It's all gone down the toilet, as I've said, so that's it, let's get into episode number four of season three of The Good Place, let's go. What are you doing down here? Oh, we came to get more champagne. Which is right behind the magic door. Visual effects. Ah, uh, well. What door? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? <laughs> Who are you and why are you talking about us? What's the good Such place? a Westworld West West reference, by the way. The My name is Special Agent Rick Justice, and this is Lisa Frenchie Fuqua. We're with the FBI. And all of you are in great danger. I can't, Michael. I'm I done. I am. Ticket, we can prove this. We have detailed files on all of you. Ask Janet anything. Who's Janet? Frenchie. Sorry. Janet. Oh, this is all already is falling what apart. Her name is Frenchie. It is. That's why they call her. Somehow grab them before they get to the bad place and regroup from there. I could kill them right now. You know, it would be easy. Their bodies are very poor. Seems a bit drastic. And juice. You just take the juice out and then they're dead. Michael. They've seen I think they call the, the, the juice a blood. That's how it works. It's over. Eternally dooming you. And that's our bad guys. So all the attempts you made to torture us, we must have been in the afterlife for a hundred years. Almost 300, actually. Well, how is it possible? Oh, wow, wow really? Was, but no time I mean, that makes sense with the amount of reboots. In the afterlife, moves in a Jeremy Baramy. What? What's the a Jeremy Baramy? <laughs> doubles back and loops around and ends up looking something like... Jeremy Baramy. This is the timeline in the afterlife. It's Happens basically kind of wibbly wobbly timeline. Jeremy, but <laughs> is the time moment when nothing never occurs. So I'm making I'm, I'm following this. <laughs> this broke me. The, uh, the dot <laughs> over the eye. The, the, that the, broke the, me. I'm I'm done. You know what? <laughs> I'm glad this I will literally see all of you. In hell. Not if I see you first. <laughs> no, 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 guys, this is not over. We have to stay together. Look, we'll There's an understandable out. reason why they're feeling defeated. I, had, I could kill all of you. Oh, get them to hell faster. Phil, I got a flu virus named after me because I kissed a bat on a dare. Oh my god. I was sent to hell, as one is wont to do when one has recently been told that one had been sent to hell. Oh, she's trying to dig deep. I have always been held captive by my desire for attention. Now that I know how it all ends, I just want to be virtual. Frederick Nietzsche, 1882. I was just trying to sell you some drugs and you made it weird. Oh no. Oh, you can tell how defeated he is. Oh! This keyboard doesn't have an age. Oh, 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 wait, wait, I see it, I see it. Janet's <laughs> <laughs> done. You can tell how fast <laughs> she's done. Hi, bro. Mika, hell. <laughs> oh, that's... Okay, back, 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 back. Maybe you should dictate and I should type. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, so details. Go ahead. It's way too many Spider-Man movies. Too many dorky little twerpy Spider-Man. Hey, leave the Spider the franchise alone. Spider-Man 3. Leave me alone. This is Can our moment. Of 
You don't owe anything to anyone else. <laughs> if people live that way, society would break down. Yeah, in America, everyone does whatever they want. Society did break down. It's terrible, and it's great. You also if you'd like. Actually, I have some of his mail. If you're going to go see him, could you bring it along? Of course. I would love to bring some rando his mail. Oh. Anything else you want me to schlep over? This is well, it. Well, this awesome day gets awesomer. This is it, though. She's having a bit of a fight. Palmer <sighs> Sorry, but there's Sheedy in the body, though. <laughs> Do you guys have like a take a car, leave a car tray? No. Yeah, just take it. Just take it. It's just done. He's Excuse just me, breaking sir. down. Would you like some free money? Now you can buy fingers for your gloves. Hello, oh, you Jason. Cool? Oh. For a new stroller. <laughs> Is he Have offering nice the baby? <laughs> Save for your college. This person. A man who is so flagrantly ignoring the one lollipop per customer rule. No, I walked out and back in each time, so I'm different customers. We're technically supposed He's to shut down the loophole. if anyone from Florida even walks in. Look, all my life, this money has been a weight around my neck. Like the heart of the ocean necklace my friend James Cameron once gave me. I don't want the money, my friend Jason. You are a good person, Eleanor. I really hope my daughter turns out like you when she grows up. <laughs> Oh, are you all right? No, you shut up. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a weird day. This is it. You She's having a tug and war. Eat them both up. You put the peeps in the chili pot and add the M and M's. You put the peeps. Big exams are next week, so can you teach us anything? All right. Oh nerd. no. You want to learn something? I'll teach you something. I'm gonna teach you the. He is of life. Eleanor. They like them apples. Now, over the last oh my goodness. 500 years, Western how the third tables have formed three main theories on how to live and stems from the consequences of that action. How much utility or good did it accomplish versus how much pain or bad? And finally, there's deontology, the school of thought that there are that. strict rules and, and duties that everyone must adhere to, to in a functioning society. Being ethical is simply identifying and obeying downfalls. those duties. Is empty there is no point to anything oh. and you're just gonna die so do whatever and now i'm gonna this eat my marshmallow sad. candy chili and you all failed it and you all got a's who cares I've gotta Goodbye. say yeah she's got a thing on a lock she wasn't even starting anything up cool lecture except our fates it's all chilly under the bridge. <laughs> He's getting here. that too. News, everyone. We got obsessed. Tacos. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, we got married and then after we got oh? married, we got tacos. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> oh <laughs> no. Tonic, of course. We only did it so I What do you say, bud? You want to join the Soul Squad? Try to save some souls? The Soul Squad. Yeah. I'm in. <gasps> But first, I have to go to the bathroom for The chili? Yeah. There you are, my love. I'll send some away to the MRI lab. Oh. Ready to go to the airport? Start our lives together? Go ahead, Tahani. We're rolling. <laughs> Off to a great start. You're going to crush a guy's heart in order to save his soul, I guess. No, that's a good sentiment, though, from Eleanor. Um... Like, yeah, it does look pretty, pretty damning at the minute for them. Um, and it is heartbreaking. But, I mean, this is it. Like, there is so much joy in making other people feel good. And, you know, being a good person overall, you don't want to... Like, with Eleanor, with, with Tahani, with Jason, they were doing very good deeds. And whether it's, you know, sharing money to, like, and, you know, putting a smile on people's faces, surprising them, or returning something, especially if it's considered a good luck charm as well. Um, you know, it makes them feel a bit more greater, and it will get them thinking, like, I remember that person... Because they did a very generous thing. And, you know, you don't want to, I guess, 
put more salt on the wound, I guess. You want to make the best of a bad situation. And the best of a bad situation is helping these people out. Because, like, it's like life, for example. We have no idea, like, in the real world. And, you know, I'm not going to be ragging on anyone's um, concepts of what's going to happen when we die. But we have no idea about what could potentially happen to us but like there's no michael there's no janet out to give us a little handicap but still being a good person overall is wholesome it's you know human and there's no point being bad because how's that going to help you compared to helping others put a smile on their day um and you know hoping that they uh, carry that momentum in being good people because generosity a lot more people could uh, probably um, benefit from kindness so I'm really interested in seeing how things are going to go with um, Eleanor's um, plan in motion which is like I said a really nice gesture if you're not going to make um, it to the good place, then you can do your best to make sure that everyone channels that momentum um, and, you know, remembers that there are good people in this world and can aspire to be them, if anything. Um, what's interesting, though, is, you know, what if this spy... Like, yeah, the... The whole plan is tainted uh, with the fact that they know. So there is no way they can go into the good place. But what if, you know, with their acts of, you know, selfless, uh, selflessness uh, by, you know, making other people happy, that does give them a, a free pass. Like, it's more than any person out there. Who knows? Like, their, their acts of selflessness because... They're doing this because of the fact that they know um, their fates are sealed, and they could do they could go off the deep end and keep committing to that, but they still want to be decent people in the end. So this is you know out of honesty, if anything. I mean, we saw Eleanor try to go back into her old habits, but there was that voice um, as she mentioned, and you know it's it's very very amazing to see Eleanor like. This is, uh, like, her knowing her fate is sealed. Um, she's going to the bad place. Why does why should it matter? I can easily revert back to my, uh, to who I was. And yet, she, there is a part of her that's nudging her, saying, no, we are not doing this. And uh, I really liked that moment where she just um, uh, went to that guy and, uh, yeah, uh, broke down as well. Even him, you know, commenting about his child's... Um, um, drawing and yeah it was just really amazing and I'm, I, I am really proud of Eleanor seeing how far she has come because this is her um, completely defeated and yet she like she was forcing herself if anything to go in because this is it like she was forcing herself to being the Eleanor of old um there was that habit of her acting good because inside what Chidi has has taught her has has meant something and yeah um it's really good to see Eleanor um you know even though she was trying to force being bad she can't help it there is that instinct and hey hey um it's the same with Tahani like she now knows uh, uh, about why she's going to the bad place um, and she may as well um, spend time uh, doing good alongside Jason. So um, it was really good to see them, you know, handing out money and donating um, and even Tahani helping out Jason as well. I mean, yeah, they did um, try to, they did find a loophole in order to, you know, have Tahani help out Jason, but at the end of the day, it's all like good-hearted nature. And then there's Chidi, <laughs> who just couldn't care whatsoever. And to be fair, you can't really blame him. And what I really like about all of these directions is they are completely different. Eleanor has this conflict going on inside of her. Uh, and this is it, as Chidi mentioned. Chidi had, um, gave his lessons out uh, and... 
to see the varied um, reactions from everyone is really good because you could have them all feel defeated and not give a toss and that would be completely understandable but we have different reactions we have Tahani who now knows she's how she's gotten to the bad place but she's still going to do some good anyways you have Eleanor's conflict and you have Chidi who just doesn't care anymore and um, it's understandable not just in the sense that you know where your end game is it's not going to be a happy ending and you know, it creates a defeated atmosphere. It's not only that, but it's also because of what Chidi has been teaching as well. And there we go. It's like reading. It's it's like reading the end of the book. And yeah, it it, it kind of defeats the 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 mood. So yeah, and uh, but it was very very interesting. Not only like did we get to see a shirtless Chidi, but also it was kind of like the turntables, like how he was acting like Eleanor, where as Eleanor, where she was trying to fake, well not fake, but she was trying to put on uh, force, if anything, that old side of her. Um, what Chidi taught her kept creeping in. It was always there, so. Yeah, um, I just want to say one thing, though. I'm sure, you know, Jason said about how he, you know, <sighs> there was a virus named after him after kissing a bat for a dare. Now, it's not exactly, you know, <sighs> I'm, I'm sure we all know where this is going. <laughs> Did the good place foreshadow something? We, we I, I think we all know what we're talking about. It's not exactly kissing a bat for a dare, but it's something else. And... <laughs> oh, no, Jason, what have you done? No, um... There were some really fun moments, especially the Jeremy Beremy, um... Um... Explanation, which was just... So, so crazy. And I just love how Chidi just broke down, like... I'm done. Uh, as well as seeing the little circle, which had uh, Tuesdays and Julys and nothingness and... Yeah. <laughs> That's all I can say. It was really fun. Um, I really loved that explanation. <laughs> um, and we also had Michael try to be the FBI agent, which was, yeah... It was really... The, he just kept digging himself further and further, but it was just so, so, so amazing. But, um, yeah, it was a really, really um, great episode to discover the fallout of uh, the humans discovering uh, the door and rightfully so demanding answers. And now they have them. It's created this... Um, like these different emotions on how we proceed with things like what now now that we know what's going to become of us why don't we just yeah react like this and react like that and like I said what I really liked about this episode thank you for freezing OBS um, I'm sure it's nothing bad though yeah cool uh, anyways as i was saying but yeah the thing i think i liked most about this episode was how different these reactions were they could have or like i said they could have had them all feel defeated and think what's the point i'm burning in hell anyways don't give a crap so yeah i mean eleanor like i said she tried but it wasn't her Chidi just gave up completely, and then to Hardy and Jason, they started to do good. I mean, Jason was like was like himself, but he was helping out, which was a good thing. So, like I said, they all had their different abilities, and I think Chidi's um, speech before saying, it doesn't matter in the end, um, was very poignant of that. So, yeah, but um, I really loved this episode, um, and uh, it will be very interesting to see the Soul Squad, as they now call on themselves, um, to see how um, they managed. I'm sure there's going to be some bumps in the road. But it's all going to depend on how we go from here. So, yeah. But uh, until then, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles!